You're watching NBC4, live from the area's leading news station. This is News 4 Midday. She is a well-known international trade expert, but she also finds time in her busy schedule to create beautiful, award-winning sculptures. Paula Stern joins us this morning to talk about her very different passions. Good morning. Good morning. We're so happy to have you with Good us and happy that you brought so many beautiful things to share with us. I want to talk a little bit about not your business side, but okay. your other passion, which actually started very early in life, right? It did. It you did. were just a little girl when you started I did. making mud pies. It, or what were you doing? I was there? literally making mud pies. I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee, um, and my parents sent me off to art school very young, uh, every Saturday. Saturday morning and I continued it throughout my education and even my professional career but I was kind of in the closet during uh, the time that I served in the government. Well, I, you know, tell me about that with your parents sending you off to art school. Were they following something that, that they felt that they saw in you? Or was this something that just happened and then you developed the art because you happened to have studied it? Well, I think my parents uh, were both uh, artistically inclined, um, but they really wanted to give their kids, uh, there were three of us, every opportunity. And so we were kind of a big fish in a very small pond in Memphis. So if there was an art school, then we went to the art school. If it was a ballet, then I was in the ballet. Um, it makes a big it, difference, doesn't it? It does. For children growing up, I mean, I'm sure that even having that discipline of having to go and do something every day sort of uh, fed into your success in the business world and in the government. Well, uh, there was no door that was closed to us psychologically. And our parents said, you know, if there's an opportunity to take that class, an opportunity to, you know, take an extra, uh, into an extra event in the evening, uh, they would take us, they would expose us. My father was teaching me how to high jump because he knew how to high jump. He, they just, ev there was, e everything was open. Well, now that you've come out of the closet with these beautiful <laughs> pieces, I'm glad that you dug some of these things out to bring yeah. with you today. These are just absolutely beautiful. Tell me a little bit about the one over there, which is very ah, interesting. Yeah, well, this is called um, Ode to, uh, Fanfare, excuse me, Fanfare to the Working Man. And it's uh, found objects, as you can see, plus a uh, portion of a terracotta bust, which I had done years ago. And it has a, a hat in here and an old briefcase that uh, literally found in my basement, which I extricated. Does this and say something about your feeling about the uh, working, working man? Working man? Uh, it absolutely does. As you can see, I also care about uh, the female, uh, and but I do think that the men sometimes don't get their due and uh, particularly the working man. Well, he's got his hat in that briefcase <laughs> and it looks like his, uh, his head's uh, somewhere else. Well, his head is, is in the is clouds, it, perhaps. It, it, exactly, <laughs> and um, you know, it, it, it evokes a lot of things and I, I leave it open to people to interpret what they will out of well, that. Well, just touching these pieces is really, <laughs> really very, very nice I'm to I'm glad you are touching them and, because uh, I want uh, people to that's part really, of it. yes, in the three dimension, and that they're that you're interacting with my my work, and how do you, I really love that. How do you keep separate these two parts of your life? You still are are working. I definitely am, and um, I, as I said, come out of the closet in the sense that after 9/11, I said, look, I, I want a legacy, which is not just the articles that I've written or the opinions I wrote at the International Trade Commission when I was chair. Um, I want something beautiful uh, to leave behind. And so I then, you know, have made it public that I have been doing this art all these, this time. So I'm not separating them. I'm trying to balance them. Well, they're very, very beautiful pieces, and they must take a lot of your time. <laughs> I mean, how, how much time do you spend on this Well, I mean, it kind of comes in spurts and depends upon, you know, my entire schedule because I am actively working, I uh, have wonderful clients, and I sit on a number of corporate boards as well. Um, so holidays, weekends, uh, nighttime, uh, this, is, this is my um, uh, retreat. Well, it's something that I would love to learn how to do, but I didn't start early enough. It's, oh, it's <laughs> never too late. <laughs> okay, that's our message <laughs> <Come> today. <on. laughs> it's never too late to follow your passion, whatever it is, and Amen. to start and learn something new. Paula, thank you so much for coming in to share yours with us. This is just beautiful, and we rarely have anything like this sitting on this table, so it's great to have had you today. I thank you so very much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thanks.